speaker is an actress and director of the award-winning documentary, Equal Means Equal, about why we need the ERA. Please welcome Kamala Lopez. Thank you. Wow, that was a hard act to follow. I love it. I love the energy. Let me tell you again that equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. That is the Equal Rights Amendment to the United States Constitution. It was written in 1923 and it still has not been ratified. Including women in the Constitution is a matter of principle. Including women in the Constitution is a matter of respect. And in today's environment, it is critically needed to protect women and girls and provide them with civil and human rights protections. Popular propaganda will tell you that as an American women, woman, you enjoy more rights and freedoms than any other woman on the planet, that you are equal and more. In fact, if you look at pop culture, not only does it tell you that you can be, do, and have whatever you want, it tells you that you are empowered. But I'm here to tell you what you already know in your gut. These are lies. Alternative facts. This is gaslighting, ladies, and it has got to stop. The truth is, that the laws supposedly protecting you are not. And we need the ERA right away. The Equal Pay Act and the Paycheck Fairness Act are a total joke. Governors can and have canceled them on a whim. We watch helpless as loopholes the size of the Grand Canyon are driven through every day by those who are making a killing off the wholesale ripoff of our entire sex. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the Violence Against Women Act does not protect you from violence. A woman is abused every nine seconds in this country and three women die every day. Close to 10,000 women are turned away from domestic violence shelters on an average day across this country. Rape is the number one crime on American college campuses with one in four young women reporting sexual assault and less than 2% of rapists ever seeing a single day in prison. <laughs> The Pregnancy Discrimination Act certainly does not protect you since the Supreme Court ruled that pregnancy discrimination is not related to being female. <laughs> and the holy grail of feminist legal underpinnings, the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment, which states that no state shall deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the law does not protect you. Late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia and other originalists like present Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch <laughs> believe that the 14th Amendment was never meant to include women and does not include women. These judges think the Constitution must be interpreted in the spirit in which it was written, meaning in the spirit of 1787, when women were chattel, the legal property of their fathers, until they married and became the legal property of their husbands. 1787, when women had no rights whatsoever. 1787, when the legal model for wives was used as the legal basis for the model of slaves and slavery. I don't know about you, but I don't want to keep living in 1787. I want to 
live in a country where equal means equal. I want equal rights under the law, and I want them now. It is why we were on the streets in January. It is why we are here today. It is the time to press for these basic human and civil right protections under our Constitution. So, after 35 years of inaction, the battle on the ground is heating up, with Nevada ratifying the Equal Rights Amendment last week. That means that we are only two states short of ratification. We must act quickly, we must ask, act decisively, and with unified purpose to get these last two states ratified. We must pass SJ Res 5 and HJ Res 53 and remove the artificial deadline yeah. on the ERA right now. Join the fight in the battleground states of Illinois, if, of Illinois, North Carolina, Florida, Virginia. Go to equalmeansequal.com, watch this film, learn the situation, and go out and do something and do it now. There is no time to waste. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Equality. When do we want it? Now.